So today we're talking about CAR T cell therapy, which is a hugely exciting area. This is a potentially a game changer for conditions like lupus and many other autoimmune conditions. So lupus is a treatable condition, uh, but many patients have to remain on medicine for very, very long periods of time. The really exciting thing about CAR T-cell therapy is that there have been a number of studies published over recent years that show that CAR T-cell therapy can actually result in a major suppression in the disease. From a physician's or patient's side, we're actually able to treat patients that were previously resistant to our conventional therapies. So this is always a fantastic position to be in. On the other hand, as we're using these uh, therapies, looking what their effect is, we're also beginning to understand more about the diseases themselves. We've been giving CAR T cells for B cell malignancies for some years now. And autoimmune conditions are diseases where you have an overproduction of antibodies made by B cells. So it was a natural thing to do to then use the same CAR T cells that we're using for B-cell malignancies to treat B-cell mediated autoimmune conditions. But it was a rheumatologist in Erlangen uh, University Hospital in Germany that first did this about two years ago now. And he treated a lupus patient of his who had failed all previous treatments with CD19 CAR T cells and the patient responded. And following that early success, the Erlangen Institute has now treated many more patients and astonishingly virtually every patient that they've treated seems to have responded. So that, that kind of impressive data we just haven't seen before with any other therapy for any condition really. Yeah. And that, that's why it's so exciting. So CAR T cells, uh, whilst they may be very effective, um, they are also quite toxic. So we have to come up with a new model of how to deliver this. It's, it's up to us to make it happen. You know, because uh, if we don't, then patients will go without these treatments. It always takes effort and hurdles to, to deal with when you uh, establish these new approaches. But it's really about following through, getting experience, um, looking after patients. I mean, it's, it's tremendously brave patients who say, yes, I'm willing to undertake this risk in experimental therapy. It is essential that we all come together to try and find uh, solutions um, to deliver these therapies. So I think King's Health Partners is, is crucial to the successful delivery of these therapies.